So let's say you have this boring pad sound playing your chord progression. In this video I'm going to be sharing three tips to turn it into a really exciting groovy synth such as this one. And stick around until the end for the bonus tip, which I think is probably the coolest one. So the first tip would be to use the arpeggiator and when you turn it on, it will break up your chord into single notes. But the cool trick here is to change the style to chord trigger. This will preserve your chord and make it rhythmic. And you can turn down the gate to make it a bit more staccato. And if you open up your synth and turn down the release, this can also help make shorter notes. And you can use the rate to control the speed. Just make sure to have a bit of an attack to your pad sound, otherwise if it's a really slow one, it may not work with such short note values in the arpeggiator. Tip number two, and with this one we're using the auto pan effect, and this one will also work on audio loops, you don't need to trigger your sounds via MIDI. So on the auto pan effect we turn up the amount, which will make the sound cycle from left to right. Press this note value button to sync it, to sync it up. I'm gonna use a slower rate, like one eighth. And as we increase the phase value, we turn the auto pan into a tremolo effect, which will turn the sound on and off. And here's how it sounds. And to make it a bit more groovy, we can change the shape and the waveform of the LFO of the autopan. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but make sure to check out my Ableton Live Packs and Sample Packs from the link down in the description. A great way to support the channel and get some cool sound and effects for your productions. And talking about LFOs, the classic LFO on the auto filter is probably my favorite one. Lowering the frequency and increasing the resonance of the auto filter, increasing the amount on the LFO, syncing it up with the sequencer, choosing a note value, and there we go. And with the different shapes to get the desired effect. And now for the bonus tip, we're gonna turn off the LFO of the auto filter, set the amount to zero, go to the sidechain section, turn on the sidechain, choose our kick as a source and increase the envelope amount, which means that the kick will actually trigger our filter and open the filter as the kick hits. And how much the filter will open and how fast or slow is set by the envelope amount, the attack and the release. And you can play around with these to get a more groovy effect suitable for your track. Okay, that's all for now. You might want to check out this video for more tips like this and see you in the next one.